क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस ऑन द बेल आइकन टू वॉच माई ऑल न्यू वीडियो उज्ज्वल कुमार सैन एंड इन दिस टॉटरल यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कैलविन प्लैंग स्टेटमेंट वेल दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट आफ्टर स्टडिंग सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनामिक्स वी हैव स्टडेड दिस स्टेटमेंट so what is the basically definition of this statement we must know right so let's go for the definition what is the definition of this statement after definition we'll discuss on this and definitely it will be quite fruitful for you to know more about kelvin's planks okay so what is the definition of it that is it is impossible impossible to construct it is impossible to construct the device construct the device which which operate in a cyclic in a in a cycle producing net work producing network while while interacting interacting with a single reservoir so what is the basically concept of it that it is impossible to construct a device with one reservoir so from where from i mean how we can able to understand from a diagram right so let's go for it suppose that this is a device and we are having one reservoir that is th and this is qh so this is they said this is impossible yes of course this is impossible because we cannot get we did not have till now any engine which is giving which is giving its 100% that means if i am giving it here 10 kilo joule so i am going to get here how much joule 10 kilo joule that's not possible right that's why i have shared with you that in case of this that's not possible so that this is the statement they said kelvin planck said that this is impossible to do so what is possible we need to understand that then i must say that it is possible to construct a device with more than one thermal reservoir i mean just write it down it is possible to construct a device with with more than more than single or one thermal reservoir reservoir so this is all about the kelvin planck statement now if i'm talking if i i will share with you what is about this statement and remember my dear this is most important because how is this possible we need to know that's why we'll definitely share with you that suppose that this is a device suppose that this is a heat engine and there is a, this is it so this is th this is tl this is w so in the in case of this what is happening basically let me share with you ql and qh what is happening suppose that i am giving 100 kilo joule input here so i am getting 50 kilo joule output and 50 kilo joule rejected that means the efficiency of this engine is output by input that is 50% so all the engines working in front of you beyond you somewhere else all the engines are working in this principle that means we are giving more energy and we are getting less work output that's why we said we don't have any engine we can give 100% efficiency if it will give then kelvin planck statement will be out we don't need to study this why we are studying this because this is impossible to construct a device till now what will happen i don't know but till now this is it we have to consider this right now 
if you wanted to know about more about it then let me share with you in gate examination in gate examination they have as lot of question from this topic but let me share with you one thing uh, how to find out efficiency of this heat engine how to find out how you can find out efficiency of this heat engine that is output by input simple formula is output by input right simple formula for finding out efficiency of any engine is output by input so what is output here w by input qh now one thing one most important thing we can say that that from this arrows only we can say that q s equal to w plus q l now w is equal to what q h minus q l therefore we can write this equation as q h minus q l by q h just divide these two by q h is equal to 1 minus q l by q l by q h got it now if i wanted to get this information this thing in terms of temperature if i wanted to get in terms of temperature then what will happen how we can get it how we can get it so we know that we know that in case of thermodynamic temperature scale or we can say that kelvin temperature scale we can say also this also we can say this also right thermal temperature is scale or kelvin temperature is scale we know that q is proportional to t therefore q is qh directly proportional to th and ql directly proportional to directly proportional to tl therefore we can write from here we can write q is equal to kt from here we can write qh is equal to kth and from here we can write ql is equal to tlk now put these values here what we are going to get just look at this so 1 minus tt will get cancelled so tl by th efficiency of this engine now you know that carnot efficiency 1 minus t1 by t2 that is the same we are getting here okay so this is all about the kelvin planck statement and related things what you have studied till now all right so if you are preparing for gate examination let me share with you one thing most probably you are not going to get question from these theoretical things you are going to get question from here heat engine now one most important thing is that if you are preparing for university examination then one another statement you should not forget to understand that is clausius statement i am going to share with you in my videos and definitely you will get uh, in uh, i mean definitely you can find out there also right so this is all about kelvin planck statement and uh, thanks for watching thank you very much and if you are getting help from my videos don't forget to share with your friends that's why they will also get help and yes if you haven't subscribed my channel till now subscribe it now to get my all videos on your dashboard thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye hope to see you again in my next video tutorial